Bye, everybody. Let me see if I can find you. That's not me. That's me. Hi, Penny. Hi, Joel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I know I did not announce when I was going to be live, so thank you to whoever hopped on. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Debbie. I'm going to grab just a little bit of lotion because I just finished washing dishes. Hi, Kelly. And my hands are super dry. We went on a field trip today, hence my crazy hair because it was on a farm and it was really dusty. Ha, <laughs> yay from Florida. Thanks, Penny. Hi, Linda. Hi, Christy. So I got my um, box of stuff that I ordered. Hey, Carol. Well, you know, welcome back. I haven't been here for a while either, so that makes two of us. <laughs> Hi, Gina, Barbara. So I got um, my shipment, and I was like, well, I'll just open it and we'll make something. So Long story short, we just did a clearance rack refresh. I don't know exactly what is still on there, but if you remember this stamp set, I didn't have the die, or not the dies, the punches, so I got these. I think they were like $12 for two punches, which you can't beat. So I can make some old Christmas cards. I love these also because there's a couple other things you can do with these. I've seen people do different stuff with the punches, so... I got this to coordinate with this, which I already had. And then I'll show you one other thing that I got from the clearance rack. Shh, 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 shh. Don't be crazy now. <laughs> I got, coincidentally, the dog. I didn't even unwrap it. I just literally opened the box and came in here. Um, this was just too cute to resist because you guys know we have lots of, um, well, now I can send lots of dog cards since we have a dog again. So I got this. And the other punch. And again, they were pretty reasonably priced. You got lots of paper, Penny. Now, I didn't get paper. I got one other thing. Go sit down. There's nothing in here for you. Go sit down. I got some blender pens because mine were kind of croaking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one out. So I know this is the new one. And the other ones I'm going to keep in the box for now until I can kind of weed out which ones I know are dry. <laughs> so I got a new blender pen. And then the other thing I got... And I'm just trying to put this stuff on the side because I don't have too much room. I don't know. I think the dog thinks I'm talking to someone and he's trying to search for who I'm talking to. So, shh. It's okay. There's nobody here. It's just you and me and all the people watching. Relax. Relax. Sit. Sit. So, I also got the Eden's Garden. It's a sweet. It's a pre-order sweet. You have to be quiet. Excuse me one minute. Turn around. Sorry about that. I got the Eden's Garden pre-order. So it's dies. And there's a stamp set. And it's red rubber, which I'm happy about. It's red rubber. I know that's not really meaning much to you, but I'll show you the front. There's that. It has some really nice sentiments. But the other thing, there are two other things in it. I feel like it also had a ribbon, but I think something happened to the ribbon on a ship. I don't know. He wants in on the live, right? And you know what? I wouldn't mind, except when he gets real barky like this, he's kind of annoying and I can't, I'll have the patience for that today. <laughs> Hi, Connie. Thanks for joining me. So, and I wanted to show you this in case you were to order it. So the paper that they have in there, it's called, I think it's called cotton. Yes. 12 by 12 cotton paper. So I saw someone else share this. Maybe you have as well, but I figured I would tell you. And it's kind of like tissue paper, not really cotton. So what I thought it was going to be and what it is are two different things, but it's a 12 by 12 paper. And then the back of it is super shiny. So it has a lot of texture when you look at it. And it's got like a, you can see kind of like a shiny background but it's also in two colors. So it's in soft succulent and evening evergreen. So I'll hold these two up so you can see the difference. So cool thing about this paper, it probably a little bit of go a long way because I don't know what we're going to use this for yet, but 
there's the two colors so you can see the difference so they're pretty spot on with their color and then you could probably cut it into smaller pieces you could probably die cut it it's not it's not even really like thick tissue paper Brene it's kind of it's almost like a cross between a really light linen and a backed tissue paper if that makes sense it's not really any thicker but it definitely has a a paper like texture it's not like mulberry paper because mulberry paper if anyone remembers which I loved mulberry paper it had like a lot that I would almost say was a cotton paper it's not as thick as that I'm not sure if you can peel it apart but I'm going to peel at least one piece so we can kind of figure it out and I think between the two I'm going to go with the darker so I'm going to keep the darker out but you do get looks like one two three four five pieces of each color so you get 10 12 by 12s so that's pretty good and if I remember correctly, and I honestly, I can't remember, but me too, Linda, I have a lot of mulberry paper. You know, which I wish we would come out with. And you know what? They always say what's old is new again. So give it some time. Maybe it'll come back around. I always liked white mulberry paper because you could dye it with your inks or this is not going back in here. I'm trying to make it so because if somebody comes back in here, I know it's going to get all ripped up. And I don't want that to happen, so I folded it in half. i got to remember to unfold that. Somebody remind me. I love the white mulberry paper because you could um, dye it with either inks or markers. or oh my, There's so many things we could dye it with now. We could use the blender brushes. But I, I think I used so much of it that I never ordered enough white. I always just had random colors that really don't match anything. I probably should go through them. But the other thing this comes with is... Or not comes with the other thing that's available it's ever eaten it's specialty paper so it does have foiling in it which is nice so it's got a lot of foiling to it it's a lot of leafy not terrifically heavy on the floral because i know we have a ton of floral stuff but also the other side is kind of nice so it's got like a dot pattern so we have that and i'm not going to show you all of them because i'm sure you probably have seen this somewhere else but this is currently available for pre-order i love this side it's really fun um, if you're a demonstrator, you're allowed to pre-order it. So you could add this to your kit if you wanted to. The other thing is all of these have foil on each, at least one side of the paper. And this one is really cool. Look at that. I love that one. That's neat. I will tell you, I ordered this one sight unseen because I was like, well, I don't really, I know Christmas is going to be winding down with us being able to get stuff because of the way the ordering ends. And I love this one. So I just figured I'd get this because I had a lot of greens too, and I really like the greens. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a piece of DSP and being quite honest, this one's pretty busy. So I think I'm going to use this one and then I'm going to use the darker green and I'm going to cut one of the florals. We're going to stick it and see. One other thing I think might be useful. And again, time will tell <laughs> is, um, putting adhesive sheet on the back of the cotton paper. So, but what I want to do first is I'm going to flip you down. That way you can see it when we fool with it. One other thing I'm going to do prior to that, of course the phone rings, cue the phone ringing. I'm going to run this through the die cut machine with cheap wax paper because this is from the dollar store. I'm sure you have a, an actual dollar store near you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this whole sheet through with the wax paper because it will help this got a lot of little bitty bits in it it will help it to come out faster so i'm going to i'm just trying to make this a little bit simpler on myself so i will put the this face the dies face up with the wax paper on top so since i'm going to be cutting face up i switched my plate so it'll be on top so i'm just going to pop this down and i'm going to go back and forth And you know what I always forget? And I just warped this a little bit and I'll show you why. Because, and I only had to do it one way. Whenever you have this piece of cardboard, it's like a whole nother level. So you have to kind of remember that. And I always seem to forget because it takes more to get it to go through. So you don't really want to put them through, but I was just trying to be fast. So, so here is 
my cut piece. You can see it completely cut that piece of wax paper. So most of the stuff should come out a little easier. Now I will tell you one thing. So just, you know, do what you will because you are your own person and you don't have to do what everyone else does. Some people don't like using wax paper and that's okay. If you don't, don't do it. No big deal. But I'm going to use this big piece and then I'm going to see what else we may do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip you and <laughs> my dad gave me that bookmark a really long time ago. So I still use it. Let's see if we can get this. It's being a little squirrely. Apologies. Okay. Wax paper makes the paper a bit shiny. You know, that's okay though. I'm not that particular about my crafting. And honestly, um, I think more so some people are worried that it's going to build up a gunk on the dye. So I guess it really just depends on what you're interested in doing. All right, let me slide this over. So what I want to do first, just because I'm going to, so this is going to be a simple card because I literally wasted time talking and telling you stuff. So I don't want you to be on here forever. Which way do we want to go that way? I think we're going to go vertical. So I'm going to make this a very simple card. Sorry, I had one more thing to put away up there. All right, so I'm going to make this four and five and a quarter. Okay, so this will be our piece that's going to go down. And then just because I want to see what this looks like, we're not going to need a piece this big, but anyway, where's my die? Let's see how big this die measures. It's about three and three quarters we'll go with. So I'm going to measure this and I'm going to cut it four just because I want to see, wow, that requires Zippo effort on the cutting. So that shows you how thin it is. And I'm going to go with, I think about five, hopefully should work. All right, so let's see if this is going to fit. Oh, I might have cut it just a teeny bit too small. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back. I still have this piece so we can use that for something else. I think this is when I cut it five, I think. Yep. Ding dong. That's the problem. All right, I'm going to go to five and a quarter. And so this is going to be our piece that's going to cut, but I want to put some adhesive just to see. And the other thing I wanted to do with this is just to tear it. To see how it tears. Because, you know, sometimes something is like a, a, a rippy pattern or it might have more something to it. So it does definitely have a paper effect. It's kind of fuzzy on the end. So that's kind of cool. All right. So I'm going to grab a piece of adhesive sheet. And I want to, um, I know this probably is going to be a little bit... I don't want to say wasteful, but kind of. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just trim this five and a quarter and four and I'm going to put, so you can see this side is shiny and this isn't. So I don't really know if there is a preferred side or not, but guess it just depends on your preference. So I'm going to stick this, whoops, stick this down kind of as best I can. I'm just trying to go side to side. It might hang over just a smidge. Okay. And then this is going to go in here and I'm going to run this through the die cut machine, but I'm going to run it face up. So the rollers have more contact because it is a little bit detailed. So I'm just going to make sure this is centered like so. Okay. And I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm just going to put this on. This one I just bowed. So I'm going to try to get it to flip back the other direction. So I'm going to run it like that. And I am going to go back and forth. Super nicely. 
So look at that. So this is all of our edging piece. Here's our center piece, which you probably could use that for something. So that does have adhesive, so I'll save that. And then here is our frame. So most of the stuff came out of it. Probably not everything, but most of it. When we peel the back off, almost all the rest of it should come out. So let's see. All right, so that's going to be our background. I think just to stay um, kind of tone on tone on tone, I'm going to put this onto a piece of Evening Evergreen, which I need to order more of. I'm on my second to last piece. What I probably need is an inventory specialist to tell me when I'm going to run out of paper. <laughs> All right, so four and a quarter. And I'm just going to score it at five and a half. And so that will be our base. This is going to go on it. And now I'm going to just put something with white. I'm not quite sure what shape we're going to do. I think I need a bigger piece than that. We're going to do some sort of a white sentiment. But white sentiment, still I'm going to stay with the same same ink. So evening evergreen. Oh, I love that. My heart is tied to yours. Tug if you need anything. I'm going to do this one, dear friend. Oh, I never even saw that. See, that's the crazy part. And you know what? I have a friend that could use this one right now. So, all right, we're going to put this is going to be for our inside. We're going to do a little floral something or other there. Maybe another one. We also have the big image. So there's a lot of stuff. And this is, if I'm not mistaken, this should be the... Oh, I always forget what it's called. Um, oh, goodness. Whatever it is that makes it look very 3D. Not 3D. Photorealistic. That's the word I'm searching for. All right. Do this one. And last but not least, just need a little one for that. And I'm going to need a second piece. Okay. All right. So as I said, you can add this to your starter kit. If you will be interested in joining my team, you can join to be a discount shopper. Lots of people do that. That's why I joined. You could join if you really had a desire to start your own team potentially lots of lots of reasons so i'm just going to do a little bit i want to see what that looks like oh that's so pretty so much nicer than i thought it would be and i'm just going to kind of mirror down here you know what i'm going to skip that i'm going to add in a little one of these tiny ones Um, that looks good because I don't want to do too much. And then I'm going to put that really nice sentiment. My heart is tied to yours tug on the inside. I'm going to see what that looks like. I don't want that to be too gummy. Okay. Over inked that a teeny bit. You know why? Because this is not lined up as good as it should be. It's not having enough pressure. Let's try this one more time. Okay, let's see how this looks. Beautiful. All right, there's one. And I still need something. We're just going to cut this out. Probably just a nice die cut. All right. So this will be for the inside. This, I'm going to need to cut this out with something. And you know what I had? Do, 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 do. Hold on. Out of here a second ago. Where is it? I love this set as well. Painted poppies, and it has these really wonderful dies on the inside. And I don't think that's going to compete too big with this. So these are, I think it's the Peaceful Moments dies, maybe? So I'm just going to hold this. And actually, it fits in there beautifully, which is super nice as well. And I'm going to die cut this. Looks good. Switch my plate around. 
And coincidentally, just with the back and forth passing of that one plate, I did kind of flatten it back out. And it's more so because I'm really good at keeping the cutting plate on the bottom. So that looks good. Put that back in here. Um, the Painted Poppies is no longer available as a bundle, but you can still get the stamp set and then that coordinating die set as well. All right, so let's just put this together. Scoot those out of the way. All right, so what I'm going to do is fold and just burnish this with my bone folder. Okay, I'm going to put the inside sentiment on there first. And I really love, this stamp set is super detailed. I mean, even the dots, which a lot of times, I think that's red rubber. Red rubber is so much better at that than anything else. I don't know if you guys feel that way too, but. So prior to putting this down, I'm going to actually remove the adhesive from the back. It should come off fairly simply. There's a little spot. Oh my goodness. Come on, fingers. Don't fail me now. Here we go. Okay. So, you do have to be delicate, though, because remember, this paper is not very thick. So, right here, and we had the split in the middle. We're going to see how this comes. So, again... I tried to do some of this so you guys don't end up with this crazy, ooh, this might be almost too thin to do with the adhesive sheet. It's kind of getting crinkly. Oh, now I'm getting nervous. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. Ooh. Yeah, so don't use adhesive sheet. Okay, so if you're watching this, we are live, but if you happen to watch this on the replay... I'm going to have to say do not use adhesive sheet because it makes it super, ah, super crinkly. Yeah, that I'm definitely not going to be able to stick down. So sadly, I just wasted a piece of paper. Okay, but you did it. So <laughs> let me try this again. Where's my other slice? Oh my, isn't that a stinker? All right, is this my piece that's left? I think this one was too small because that was five. Yep. Let me try it one more time. So I'm going to just die cut this. And sometimes, unfortunately, the adhesive sheet is like that because it's sticky. And I needed five and a quarter. That was the other thing. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. So that goes to show you how thin it is. It is just entirely too thin to use for that purpose. And the only thing I have to locate is my die. Here we go. So I'm just going to run this through again and we'll just put some adhesive through in some thoughtful places. But I am going to go um, back and forth. This what happens to you. See now it's never happens to me with anything else um, with the adhesive sheet. So I really, really like the adhesive sheet. However, this paper is obviously just entirely too thin to use it on. Okay, I'm going to pull the center out. Again, I'm being super careful because it is really thin. And maybe, maybe this isn't going to be the best use of it. But... I'm wasting my sheet, so you order this. You don't have to. Okay. We have a couple places that some of the little pieces didn't come out. However, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Let's get this out of the way. I'm going to keep them in there. That way it gives me a place to hide my adhesive. So I'm going to grab my liquid glue, and I'm just going to put adhesive. I'm not going to put it on the whole thing. I'm just going to put some dots here and there. And this could improve as I play. Remember, I just got this. Literally, they dropped it off at my house. Just, uh, just about a half hour ago. 
I'm going to use my reverse tweezers to pick this up so I try not to smudge anything. And then I'm going to flip it and hopefully lay. And I can always adjust from here. Because even if I do get a little glue where I don't want it, it will dry clear. So we'll be okay with that. So it is sticking up a little bit more because, again, I didn't glue the entire piece. So we'll have to see where that goes from there. So let me just press this down once more. Again, we're going to need our glue to dry just a smidge. But I'm going to put some glue on the back of this. And I was trying to go for that gold shiny side. So that's why we have that. It may be some people don't like the busyness of it. So... Lots of other stuff you can do with it too, though. Okay. And then we have our sentiment. So I think what I'm going to do is put this up on dimensionals. And then I think I'm going to add a couple of, I believe they are the in color jewels, which I think I just found again the other day because I was looking for something for a project that I have to do. And I relocated them. So. Let me see what those look like. We might add a couple and I'm going to, I might add a couple that aren't the same color. Okay. Nice and straight. There we go. So dear friend, well, that's a little crooked, but how are you? My heart is tied to yours. Tug if you need anything. I think that's so sweet. So my little jewels that I was talking about, they are the in color jewels. So you have all of the in colors, um, soft succulent, fresh freesia, evening evergreen, pale papaya, and polished pink. So I think it might be a little bit cute with something that's got a little bit of a spark. Now the evergreen is really dark, so I almost think that would look nice as well. But I'm going to, let me just take a peek. Sometimes I like the clear parts because then you can kind of put stuff down and see. I think I'm going to do a couple of these tiny ones. So I have evening evergreen. And I do tend to like them in threes. So a little triangle of three there. And I think that's going to be it. So a little bit of old, a little bit of new. Again, these are the 20, 21, 23 in color jewels. So they do have really tiny ones and then a little bit bigger ones. But they're not huge by any means. So they're still really nice. You could use the pearls. You could use, oh, so many different things. The other ones that I love, and you can see because I have so many packets of these, are the Elegant Faceted Gems. And these actually have a champagne row in the middle. So they have tiny ones and then medium-sized. I am on, I think, my third pack of those because I like them so much. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This was, again, a very simple card. You could also, if you wanted to jazz it up a little bit, you could add some of the Evening Evergreen chevron ribbon but my other ribbon and where is it because i just used it for something the other day oh here nope that's not it oh my goodness what did i do with it i don't even know it is the soft succulent and it is oh my gosh i truly don't know where it is i just had it the other day it's a beautiful ribbon absolutely beautiful i could show you the project but i can't because i have to finish it and share it with somebody else before i can show it to you but you could add some ribbon to this if you wanted to you could also again we could change up the color we could have used the lighter one for this it does have two different ones but do not use adhesive sheet it will rip it it's definitely entirely too delicate for that but i hope you guys enjoyed this card thank you so much for joining me on the fly today if you have any questions about products or what we use today you can send me an email at reach the stamper at gmail.com you can purchase all of these supplies in my online store, reachthestamper.stampinup.net, except for this new bundle, which is exclusive. So this is the Eden's Gardens Ever Eden, and this is exclusive to demonstrators. So you can join and put this as part of your starter kit if you'd like. Uh, it will premiere, I believe it is November I don't know if it's remember first or third for customers, but also has coordinating DSP. And then it has the soft succulent and evening evergreen 12 by 12 cotton paper there is also a ribbon 
But for some reason, like I said, I think we had an issue with the ribbon. So that's why the ribbon is not currently available. Thank you all so very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again really soon. Thank you so much for watching.